and he leads the praying from that niche there. And if you look all the way up, that is same in all of the mosques in the world. If you look up there, on the right hand side, you can see Arabic letters, Arabic writings. That is Allah written there. On the left hand side, Muhammad is written there. As I told you, same, Allah on the right, Muhammad on the left. Four other names are mentioned in every mosque in the world. They are the four, first four halif of the uh, follower of our prophet. Two on this side, two on the other side. And in some of the mosques, not all, but in some of the mosques, uh, there are two other names, the grandchildren, the names of the grandchildren of our Prophet, Hassan and Hussein, they are also mentioned in the mosques. You cannot see any human bodies painting on the walls, that is strictly forbidden. You can only see writings from Arabic and they are all from Quran, all taken from Quran. doesn't have to be the same, in different mosques you can see different writings, but they are all from Quran, definitely. This little kiosk over here belongs to Muezzin. Muezzin is the second person who helps to pray. Imam is the person and Muezzin is the person who goes up the minaret and calls everybody to pray. So he helps. This, this little kiosk over here belongs to Muezzin. Do you know why we call this mosque Bulu Mosque? I mean, why you call this mosque Bulu Mosque? <laughs> Look at the tiles around here. They're Iznik tiles, blue color Iznik tiles. And uh, we have got more than 25,000 pieces. Uh, of blue tiles in this mosque. That's why it's called Bulu Mosque's mosque by the tourists. By the locals, it's called Sultan Ahmed Mosque. And uh, any other questions? Do you have any questions about here, about the building?